Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, like I said, I keep bringing you the build sheets as I see them. The Limited Tundra has now um, populated with some build sheets in the hybrid. Um, so I've got two different build sheets here. One's with the five and a half foot bed, the other one's with the six foot bed. Um, they're gonna be pretty similar between the two. Um, so I'm gonna kinda do what I always do and I'm gonna show you guys some information on these particular vehicles. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this around right here and here we go. So. All right, so same thing, like I said, just normal, same way that we normally do it, right? So I'm going to show you right here. So this is the 2022 Tundra Limited 8421. This is the five and a half foot bed, all right? So you can have a six foot, six and a half foot bed or a five and a half foot bed. This one is the short one. I'll show you the long one here in just a little bit. Um, this particular one shows in silver, of course. Um, no, this one's not coming to me, right? I mean, I'm sure I'll have some, but this particular one, no, it's not coming to me. Everything's pretty much pre-sold right now, um, but uh, just kind of giving you guys an idea of what you're looking at in these vehicles. So interior on this one's the black. You can see your fuel economy is 19 city, 22 highway. Uh, combined is 20. Um, hoping that they can do a little bit better than that on uh, eco mode, but uh, we'll see what happens there. So base model is 55.3 on this one, plus the delivery processing handling from Toyota, of course. Uh, so you're going to end up being right at 57, what, 57? Just, just over 57 there. Um, so that's before any packages, anything like that. So uh, you can see full MSRP on this one with 5,134 in packages is 62,129. All right. So um, this thing's got a couple things on here that uh, it, it's not showing up everything. Um, so this one's probably the entertainment package. This one, it's probably running boards of some kind, just like a base running board. Uh, maybe a tonneau cover, maybe the bed, spray on bed liner, not quite sure. Um, but these particular options aren't showing up on the uh, the spec list here. Um, but obviously the options can change. Obviously it shows your all weather floor liners right there. So um, not really showing me a whole lot when it comes to the options. But obviously you can kind of get an idea on your pricing, of course. Uh, you are going to have your iForce Max with 3.5 liter twin turbo, uh, 437 horsepower at 5200 RPM, uh, 583 foot pounds of torque at 2400 RPM. Um, this thing will tow it idle. Um, <laughs> so your twin turbos, obviously. Um, and then the way this thing goes is it drops down to, to this list till it gets to the next level and goes over. So we'll just kind of come down here. So your ignition system, you have a 12 volt starter, of course. It's a low emissions vehicle, which should mean you should be able to uh, have it in hub lanes in most states, but check your local regulations, of course. Uh, electric motor produ produces 48 horsepower. Um, your hybrid battery is a 288 volt sealed nickel metal hydride battery. Um, Transmission is the same 10 speed transmission that is in the non hybrid. Um, that thing is smooth, guys. I'll tell you what. Um, uh, and I will tell you that I did have the opportunity to drive a hybrid over the, the past uh, week here. And these things are amazing, guys. You're going to love the power, you're going to love the responsiveness. These things are really good. So, um, now, obviously, you have your independent double wishbone front suspension and your multi-link rear. Uh, it's like riding on a cloud. These things ride like a car. They're so smooth. Um, your brakes, you have a power-assisted ventilated 13.9-inch front, di front disc brakes with opposed dual piston brake calipers. That means you got two pistons on either side. It's not a floating caliper. It's really interesting how that works, but it makes your brakes work a ton better um, than anything else. You have a 13.6-inch rear disc with a single piston. Uh, your brakes are your electronic parking brake, of course. You have that uh, where it'll automatically set when you put it in a park. It'll unset when you pull it out of park. Um, your body on frame is your ultra high strength strength steel cabin construction with your aluminum hood and front door panels. That's to lighten the weight for you guys. Um, body on frame, your active grill shutters. That is really cool too because your grill can actually, uh, uh, it, if it doesn't need the airflow through the engine, it can actually shut those grill shutters and make the, uh, the fuel efficiency even better by shutting those. So that's uh, pretty cool. Um, you have an integrated brake controller, of course, with your MID screen in the middle. Um, just really, really cool. So your off-road engine and body undercovers, uh, your turning circle diameter curb to curb is 48.6. That's in feet.
feet. So um, that basically means if you turn the wheel all the one all the way to one side, that's how the, the diameter of the circle is going to be. All right. So um, that, there you go. Weight rating is 76.15. Obviously, options can change that. Back down to here, obviously, you can see your uh, valve train, 24 valve, dual red cam, of course. Uh, you can look at everything else that's there, of course, for you. If you want to see that particular information, fuel system, direct and port injected, which is the way Toyota does it, which is the best way. Um, and then your HV electric motor right here. It's a parallel hybrid system with permanent magnet synchronous motor generator. So parallel, what's that mean? It's in line with your transmission and your engine. So it's not like a RAV4, like a Camry. It is different and it is uh, pretty cool, like I said. So your hybrid electric motor will do 180 foot pounds of torque. Drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. Four wheel on demand, so it can turn into four wheel if it needs to. Um, and uh, you can switch into four wheel uh, uh, up to, I believe it was 60 miles an hour. Um, that you can switch into four wheel high, but you have to be stopped in a neutral in order to switch into four wheel low. Um, so obviously your steering, electronic power steering, your brakes, electronically controlled braking with your regenerative braking. So it will actually uh, regenerate some of the electricity back into the battery as you're braking. It's a really cool feature. Um, that's something that hybrids tend to do. So uh, fully boxed, high strength steel ladder frame with the hydraulic uh, cab mounts. So you have your uh, body is set onto your frame. Um, it's the strongest way to do it. That's uh, good when you can tow what these things can tow. Um, but uh, the hydraulic cab mounts are going to make the cab even softer on you for uh, driving around. Um, you also have your uh, active aerial front spoiler. Um, did a video on that too, um, which will actually drop down for you. Uh, you have the class four towing hitch with the receiver and the wire harness and your uh, seven and four pin connectors. Um, you also have your tow haul modes, your towing and your trailer sway control, your steering wheel controls. Um, your, your, sorry, your steering wheel will turn 3.4 turns lock to lock, basically meaning that if you uh, turn it all the way from one way to all the way to the other, it'll take you 3.4 turns to get all the way from one side to the other uh, lock to lock wise. So now here is your exterior. And uh, your five and a half foot bed is right here. Your deck rail system is right here uh, with your four adjustable tie down cleats and fixed cargo bed tie down points, of course. You have your Tundra stamped in the tailgate with your smart switch release. So you can actually uh, hit a button on your key fob and drop the, uh, the tailgate. It's pretty cool. Um, you also have the bump feature where you can actually uh, hit it on the side of the, um, the, on the driver's side of the taillight and it'll drop the, uh, drop the tailgate for you that way too. LED headlights, daytime running lights, auto off and on feature, your manual leveling adjustment of course, uh, trailer reverse assist light that's actually in the tailgate so it'll turn that on for you to help you to see the uh, where you're headed with that. Heated power, auto dimming outside mirrors with turn signal, blind spot warning indicators and power folding and reverse tilt down features. Um, that is pretty cool too. Um, gray painted horizontal bar with the grill satin chrome, uh, chrome surround, right? Um, your black roof mounted shark fin antenna, your iForce Max hood badge, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you also have your aluminum reinforced composite bed. That's the same bed that's on the Tacoma. It's worked out really well for the Tacoma, so they brought it over to the Tundra. Uh, there's your release bump switch for your tail light. 20 inch gray painted and machine finished alloy wheels. Your LED fog lights, LED center high mount, mount stop lights with your integrated cargo lights. Your washer link variable intermittent uh, wipers. Front door handles with your touch sensors, so it's all a push button start, so you can grab the door handle, open the door handle, lock the doors, you can do all that there. Um, your chrome tundra and limited door badges, door handles, window molding, color keyed, all that stuff that you see right there. Four by four tailgate badge, which says that, oh, hey, it's a four by four. Um, you do have the, uh, all those, ex uh, your dimensions are right there, so pause it if you need to see those, and we move on. So now you have your soft techs, right? So you have your leather, which is your soft techs, your uh, eight way power adjustable driver front and passenger seats with your two way power adjustable lumbar, heated front seats, 
right? 60-40 split uh, folding rear seat with your center armrest and cup holders. The 12-3, right there, 12-3 digital meter that is standard on your Limited. So um, Limited and above will have your 12-3 screen in the hybrid. Uh, the Limited does not have it in the non-hybrid. So the only way to get that screen is to go with the hybrid in that. So um, your iForce Max, right? So drive mode select with your switch and dial. Rear seat air vents, which is always good. Fixed center console with your gated shift lever, driving controls, four cup holders, center storage bin, uh, power vertical rear window, so that'll drop the entire window down, right? Power windows with your one touch auto up, that's all of them. Your overhead console with your rear window controls, so they've moved the uh, rear window control to the upper console, guys, so um, it's a really good spot right next to the sunglasses there, and you have your safety connect as well, which is uh, hit that button if you need some assistance. That's free for the first year, it's 80 bucks. Uh, uh, for every year past that. So front and rear assist grips, that'll help you to get in and out. They, uh, they brought those back, all of them. So uh, illuminated uh, center console storage bin. You actually have a light on the inside of that and your glove box. Leather shift knob, of course. Um, that can change if you have an off-road package, uh, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, driver's seat memory function, your heated and ventilated front seats. So you can see that it showed over here. It said heated front seats. You can see over here it says heated and ventilated front seats so you actually have the ventilated front seats as well but that's just kind of how they did it on here not sure why they did it that way but it is what it is there's your smart key system already talked about that um, but that just gives you a list of it on there and then your backup camera that's standard on all of them dual zone climate control um, that's standard on most everything now so <laughs> most people get it out on everything uh, leather trimmed steering wheel with your uh, phone audio all that's on there uh, 12 volt uh, power outlet your laminated windshield that's going to make it a little quieter on the inside these things are extremely quiet um, you can be going very fast before you know how uh, how quiet it is anyway um, your uh, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link and your universal trans uh, transceiver your electronic locking fuel door front and rear led map light soft touch instrument panel center console and door uh, surfaces there so um, really really cool right so uh, just yeah it's uh pretty awesome so now we go into the fun part your audio multimedia 14 inch screen guys things are i mean they're beautiful and it's and it's actually it's it's square too so it's not one of these long it's not long tall it's not long wide it's uh, pretty well square nine speaker audio system with your wireless carplay and wireless android auto uh serious uh, for three months um, then you have um, safety connect, which we just talked about. Remote connect, you can start your car, unlock your car, uh, you know, look at your manuals, all kinds of stuff you can do with that. Uh, that's a one year trial after that. It's eight, eight bucks a month or $80 a year, just like the safety connect. Service connect has a three year trial, uh, but that normally comes with uh, either safety connect or remote connect. If you have either one of those, service connect should come with that, I believe, but I um, don't think I'm wrong. Uh, wi Fi connected up to three gigabytes on a one month trial. Um, that's, uh, you know, just getting a phone line for your car, of course, but you can definitely see that. So Toyota care, obviously that's included, uh, in most regions. Uh, it's uh, no cost maintenance for the first two years or 25,000 miles roadside assistance. That's included in most spots as well. Same thing, but, um, there's, it's unlimited miles, but two years, um, Safety system, Safety Sense 2.5. That's the latest and the greatest with uh, with Toyota. Um, at least as of right now, there will be a 3.0 out, but uh, 2.5 is the latest and greatest that's out right now. Um, and the 3.0 is only coming out in the GR uh, Corolla that's uh, going to be coming out. So um, it's not even out yet. So anyway, um, at least as far as I know to this point. Uh, at the time of making this video, you know, um, Pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed dynamic radar cruise control. That means it'll take you all the way to a stop. Lane departure alert with steering assist and then lane tracing. So lane departure will bump you back into your lane, but while you are in that dynamic radar cruise control, lane tracing can help you to steer your vehicle. Definitely stay safe, keep your hands on the wheel. Don't let it drive for you. For you, it's not designed for that. Um, automatic high beams, turn your high beams on and off. Uh, whenever it sees uh, headlights, taillights, they'll be off. When it sees neither, they'll be on. So if you have that set, that'll work pretty good. Road sign assist, it can see uh, uh, several road signs, including the stop, uh, yield, 
uh, do not enter and your speed limit uh, like I've told people before if you look down you see the do not enter sign on your center dash it's the last sign it saw you're going the wrong way um, anyway so front rear uh, parking assist with automatic braking if you're about to roll into something it can actually stop you from doing so uh, you shut that off when you're going into a car wash of course but that is not your pre-collision system that is a separate system um, I definitely have videos out there showing you how to turn that on or off as well. So eight total airbags, including driver and passenger side knee and curtain airbags, three point seat belts for all seating positions. Of course, um, all the normal stuff that you'd, uh, definitely think about getting with a vehicle blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert in trailer merge warning is standard trailer merge warning. So basically if you're hooked up to a trailer, it will adjust. Uh, how far back the blind spot monitor will go. So that's a pretty cool feature too. Um, tire pressure monitor system, uh, that's standard of course. Um, that's been around for a while. Driver and front passenger active headrest, latch system, safety connector. I already talked about that and drive start control. Um, that is a lot, right guys? <laughs> So that is on the one that's got the six five bed, um, or sorry, the the uh, five foot five bed. This one is the six five bed. That's a code eighty four thirty one. If I didn't show you on the other one, that was a code eighty four twenty one on the other one. So in case you guys need to see it, it was right there eighty four twenty one. So you go to eighty four thirty one, and you're going to end up having uh, the extra bed. Everything else is lined pretty up, pretty much up the same way. You'll notice. You have a 55-630 as a base. The other one with the shorter bed was 55-300 before adding that same 1695 from Toyota for the delivery processing and handling. This one had, you know, 54-83 in options. The other one had 51-34. You can see you end up in pretty much the same spot, whether you get the long bed, whether you get the short bed. Long bed is new for 2022. It was the Crew Max version, by the way. Notice that both of these are the Crew Max version, which is the big cab, four full-size doors, of course. Um, in the Crew Max version, you could only get the 5.5 bed uh, prior to 22. You can definitely get the 6.5 bed now, as you can see, um, and that was previously only available in the double cab. Double cab now has a 6.5 and an 8.1 are the two options in the double cab. Just noting that because, well, I can, and I like to give you guys a little extra, but you can kind of see the same thing here. So couple things not quite showing up what the options are but the prices are there but here's a panoramic view monitor on this one that's 950 the uh this one's got the tow mirrors on it right so the tow mirrors are actually the the power heated power tow mirrors um that's actually pretty cool because those mirrors will expand out so 290 bucks if you're going to tow a lot that's really nice rear air suspension that kind of explains itself heated leather steering wheel oh they like to put that on a lot of them but uh, 150 bucks for that but you can see everything else is the same so you know when it comes to looking at what's on there other than you'll see your 6.5 standard bed and then your rating right here so it shows your weight rating at 77.50 before adding your options of course the other one is at 76.15 so you can see you do add a little bit of weight when you have that bigger bed so 77.50 to 76.15 is the difference there um, i will mention here too your turning circle diameter curb to curb this one is 50 uh, the other one's 48.6. So there is a difference on that, of course, uh, but that just makes sense uh, a little bit longer of a bed. So um, makes sense on what that looks like, but uh, it's not that much difference. It's what, 1.4 feet. Um, so really not, uh, not a whole lot of different there. And that's realistically is just the length of your bed. Um, so that's what it's measuring is how far you have to be for doing that full circle, right? Um, Everything else uh, pretty much is the same thing. Um, your fuel economy is the same. Everything else is the same. There's just, you know, all it is is just extra paper. Um, but if you wanted to look through the rest of these, you can, I'll just kind of scroll here so that you guys can kind of pause the video if you want to see the rest of that there. But it is the exact same thing that the uh, other one is. This was the first one here if you wanted to scroll and kind of see that kind of stuff too. But, uh, Trying not to make the video too long here, but those are your limited hybrid tundras. So let's zip this around. And, hey, there I am. All right, so limited hybrid tundras, six and a half foot bed, five and a half foot bed, 
giving you guys all the information that I could possibly find on the new ones as these build sheets come available. Like I said, a couple pieces are left off of there, but uh, you can get the gist for what it is and uh, for how it's going to be. But uh, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. Definitely let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, if you're in the Nashville area looking to get one, always reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Buy a Toyota Nashville at yahoo.com. Buy a Toyota Nashville at yahoo.com. That comes to me. So you guys can always uh, talk to me there. Put a like and a comment uh, down below. That definitely helps out a lot. I appreciate you guys that subscribe more than you could possibly know. So uh, appreciate you guys a ton. Steve Welch, BM Toyota, beautiful Nashville. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.